Meet Ethical Crack. My ultimate Iron Man is taking the game mode just a step further. Not only can I not use a bank, but I can't use any method of storage outside of my inventory. That means no looting bag, no death storage, no death piles, no stash units, and no player-owned house storage. To achieve my goals in this game mode, I will need to think and play very differently. Oh, hi! Yeah, wouldn't you believe it? We're probably going to go to Winter Todd soon. Uh, I won't show you too much of it. Pinky promise. But we will be staying there until 85 fire making, as that's the highest diary requirement. Anyways, we have some gains to make. Onwards with the questing. So far on this account, I have just been AFKing some stuff in free to play, and we have got some stats here. We smacked a dummy for 8 attack. We fished up some trout and cooked them for 25 cooking chopped down some willows and burned them for the 45 fire making and we've splashed in our iron man armor a bit to get seven magic with the rooms from the tutors onto stuff that i recorded first up on this account is druidic ritual herblore is going to be really difficult to train and to get herblore up every single lamp that i ever get is going to be used on it druidic ritual completed for three herblore and sheep share are done for three crafting. And cook's assistant done so we can start RFD. So 26 cooking. Oh, look at that. Mr. Lynn Mystery done for seven crafting. And would you look at that? Two farming straight away from raking. And there's X marks the spot done. Herblaw. Level six Herblaw. Doing client of current, but on the way round, we're going to do our Arceus favor. 13 magic. Uh, you can now cast Fire Strike. 20 magic. Oh, surprise exam. Don't mind if I do. On to Herblore. Okay, that's a book we don't have, meaning we are done here. We got to 25 magic on the way to 100% favor. And while we are in Hersidius, Salt, Peter, and compost is possible on this account, but it would require going to and from the bank every half inventory of Salt, Peter to unnote my compost, and I ain't doing that. So we're just going to push some plows around, and we're going to be pushing them the whole way to 100% favor, so this is going to be quite an AFK bit. These plows really are terrible content, but if you look at the chat box, those are some nice early levels to be skipping. Persidious Favor is done. Oh yeah, I should mention, from that we got 12 farming and 19 crafting. Real nice boost. Client of Corinth done, which is beautiful because we get two lamps to go straight into that herb law, Giving us level 12 and current Favor certificate going into Piscarillius because cranes suck completed which gives us 15 herb law 8 construction and some construction supplies Ooh, 25 fishing we are just preparing to do black knight's fortress with one defense and 10 hit points so getting some food to hopefully help us not die ah there was black knight's fortress done i skipped it oops there's our supplies used up 12 construction. We're going to sell the rest of the general store because we can't use oak planks yet. Oh, would you look at that. There's waterfall quest done. 30 strength, 30 attack. We're going to go do recruitment drive now, which means we need nothing. But one thing I want to try is see if there's a flinch spot for him here. And it looks like there is. If we can get him to this spot here or the spot here. Flinch spot. Oh, look at those XP drops. Recruitment drive done. Nine prayer, 17 herbal, and nine agility. We also have 6,000 gold ready to be rebuild our supplies to continue on our adventure. And agility. What is up with this wall? It looks fine here, but on the other side, 
Just this one input's all weird. What the fuck? And rune lights. Or of life for even more XP. 20 crafting. Nice. 5 thieving. Huge. And there's 25 thieving, which is a requirement for... Oh, that XP. We started with 1 mining. And now we have 31 mining. <laughs> fuck yeah. And 21 herb or 9 levels left to reach our goal with that. Our certificate from the dig site to friend to get a fruit blast. Now it's time to do RFD with it. Master done. And that is absolutely gorgeous. We are, in fact, going to be doing some of our friends here. Uh, yeah, I'm sticking with that. Completed. <laughs> Did one fishing trawler for the diary and got the hat. But the rusty sword is what I was actually looking for. We're going to take that over to my friend... Tyndall Merchant? Is this the guy here? Tyndall or Tyndall Merchant. I'm gonna give him a sword. Well, rip. Diplomacy 21 crafting. Oh, delicious compromising slop. Look at those XP. Beautiful. This farming XP, especially to help us with Fairy Tale, which will be coming up soon. Hey, we got ourselves a kitten. 22 herblow from a genie. Village done. 36 attack. I got the sick defense amulet. And I can use these friends now. That's where I already am. And dwarf cannon done. We're just working on some crafting XP to get up to 31 for Lost City at the moment. Plague City. Release. Thank you, stranger. Yeah, we just gave this ghost head so it can rest now. It's also a buttload of prayer XP. 14. We discovered the magical sequence of the runes that we've never seen before. Wow. I'm definitely a cat person. Got my Addy sword from Varrock. Gonna go murder this dog. Yeah. Oh, I'm hitting like sixes on this thing. Thank you, water quest. Oh. The priest is no longer in peril. Oh nice, we've got like the Unicorn Constellation or something that gives us heaps of crafting XP. 27. God damn it, Frank. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, that's a nice XP drop. Yeah, we like that one. There we go, we got our first batch of quests down. It was a bit of a mess, don't take that as a guide. I was initially planning to go get fairy rings, but then nature spirit gives hit points XP and I didn't want that for fire making. Anyway, let's get some supplies sorted to get our way over there and get started with the, the big like white stormy boy. The shops were in stock thanks to a reset, so we just got ourselves 30 crafting and made about 10,000 gold. Well, we came back because we needed a wee bit more mage. There's 32. Alright, we're ready to start Winter Todd. Found a world, here we go. First solo. We got our first crate. Unfortunately, I was planning to do about three at a time, but we used six trout on that one, and we don't have six more trout, so we're going to have to go straight to opening this crate, see what we get, and maybe use some stuff from it. So let's have a gander. Oh, gorgeous. Look at all that stuff. So the two herb seeds I got for this are actually the two herb seeds I plan on keeping. We're going to hold on to Rana seeds and Rana's because we really want prayer pots. And we're going to hang on to Eret seeds because it's and Eret's because it's the easiest herb lore XP. Qualms are much too high level for us. We're going to just drop them. Qualms we're going to use. Acorn we're going to use. Sapphire and Emerald we're going to cut. And diamonds, we're just going to sell to a shop, I believe. With the extra fire making levels, we got two crates from our most recent solo. Zzz. Cool. And our second crate. And just like you held down the spacebar to skip the boring bit you weren't interested in, we're done with Winter Todd. In the inventory is the loot I'm keeping from it. We're using three types of seeds. 
Eretz, because you can buy Invenant Noted, stackable Eyes of Newt, Ranaz, because we must have prayer pots, and Herolanders, because you can mine Invenant stackable secondaries. So that is my herbal supplies. We've got a little bit of Noted food I've hung on to, and of course 335k, which is gorgeous and going to really help us out. Oh, well done, you made it through a video where an Iron Man goes to Wintertop. That'll be it for me until next time, where we move on to some more questing, to be honest. I hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoyed editing it. I actually edited rather than just, you know, like put, put all the clips in a big long line. So that's kind of cool, and I'm really proud of it. But you know what I'm even more proud of? I'm even more proud of the song that my band has released recently. It's out on Spotify and everywhere you listen to music. Uh, you should go down to the description and click on that. I would really appreciate it. See you next time. Crack out.